So let's have a look at PCOS type A phenotype, the commonest form of the most severe PCOS. A and B are more dominant and the most severe forms of PCOS. So if you have a look at this phenotype A, and what we're we looking at, we're looking at irregular periods, high LH, high AMH, and we're looking at hirsutism. So all that gives you type A phenotype. But ha let's have a look at these follicles. These are the follicles that will give you a much higher follicle count. And if you have a look at these follicles, uh, now these are the follicles of PCOS that all get arrested. And these are called as antral follicles. They're small. And these get all arrested in growth. And that's why the PCOS, because of just the bulk of follicles, you find it very difficult to try and, and stimulate the ovary. And these are the more traditionally normal forms of uh, PCOS. And if you have a look at this other side, you will see a lot of smaller follicles. So if you just have a look at this side and you'll see a lot of smaller follicles that are growing. Again, what is the element here? You've got this PCOS element and the, these are the antral follicles, lots of antral follicles. Look, what again tells you that this ovary is more likely to find more difficult? It is this thecal matter. This is what represents the androgen side of it. And this is what probably makes it more difficult. So remember, these are type A phenotype PCOS. Thank you.